Hi there, it's Teresa from MusicReadingSavant.com and today I wanted to help you understand the different parts of a music note. This may sound very basic, but it's something that is helpful for you to learn so that you understand what you're looking at when you are reading music. So with a music note, in this very basic form, we have this area that is colored in right here and it looks like an oval shape. This is called the note head. Wherever this is placed, on the music staff, either on a line or in a space, that tells us the actual name of that note. So the note head is a very, very important part of the actual music note. Um, this is what we pay attention to the most. Then you're gonna find a stem right here that goes up, and the stem can be located on either side, the right or the left. Usually you're going to find it going up on the right or down on the left, and we don't have an example of that here, but that's what you're gonna notice in your music. Then in some cases we have something like this. It looks like a little tail hanging off the stem, and that's called a flag. That is giving us more indication of what the value is of the note. So the stem is important to give us guidance in the value of the note, how many counts the note could possibly be what type of note it is, and so does a flag, whether it's there or not. So in this case, if I see a note like this with a flag, that's telling me that it's called an eighth note, and it's only going to receive a half of a count. Down here, sometimes we have notes that are grouped together. They can be grouped in into groups of two, four, three, six, eight, many, many different possibilities. And this little piece right here that you see connecting the, at the very top of the two stems is called a beam. Again, this beam is another important piece for telling us what the value of the note is. So we have our stem as a basis, and then we can add something else like a beam or a flag that will tell us how much is that note worth? How many counts is it? So now we're talking about rhythm. So in this case, this beam is connecting two of these together and we call these eighth notes. So each are worth a half a count and all of this is worth one count. This is one single eighth note and you can tell that when it's by itself, it has a flag because there is nothing else to connect it to. So there, you're not gonna see a beam that happens there. So just to review with the parts of the music note and why this is important to us, the actual note head is where we we put on the staff and that tells us the name of the note. When we look at the other parts, like the stem, a flag, or a beam, that's telling us how much that note is worth. What is its value? And that gives us an indication of rhythm. I hope this helps you so you know how to look at your music and understand what you're reading a little bit deeper. Thanks so much.